There's been a new breakthrough in unlocking LHR for mining Ethereum and I'm gonna be testing what hash we can get with this new unlocker on all LHR GPUs, so stick around. Warning, there are people pretending to be me in the comments and on social platforms. I'll never ask you to add me on WhatsApp or Telegram and I'll never ask you to send me money, crypto or your personal information, all right? So please be careful, use your common sense and don't let any of these imposters fool you, all right? Now back to the video. Hey, how's it going GPU heads? Thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Hesler here. And with LOL Miner version 1.47 for Linux and 1.48 for Windows, we are now getting pretty close to 80% hash rate unlock on LHR GPUs. So what I'm gonna do in this video, since I have basically every kind of LHR GPU, well, except for the 3050, but I'm pretty sure none of you out there are using 3050s for mining anyway. So other than that, we're gonna test this new unlocker on every single LHR GPU that there is. We're gonna see what hash rate we're getting before with just a regular miner like T-Rex miner, and then after using this new LOL miner. Uh, we're gonna do that using the exact same overclock settings, both before and after, so that there's no, you know, mess there and before we get into it i also wanted to talk a little bit why this still matters now because i know a lot of you are thinking well eth mining is going away in a few months probably anyway well yes ethereum mining is going away but there are other coins that use that same algorithm that are also still locked on mining uh, with this LHR lock, you know, most notably Ethereum Classic. So if we can get as close to a full LHR unlock as possible, that means that these cards will be as profitable as possible mining after Ethereum goes to proof of stake and we have to mine other coins. So it's just a very good thing um, to get as close to a full LHR unlock as possible because that means that miners with LHR cards will have just as wide a selection of coins to mine after that happens as people with full hash rate cards. So that's just a little quick summary of why I still think unlocking LHR is really something that matters and why it's important. But how close have we gotten with this new LOL miner? Let's have a look. All right, so we're on the computer here and here we have the latest LOL miner. And I figured just before we actually have a comparison before and after with this, uh, I should just show you here what's going on. So um, as of this release 1.47, it is for Linux only. So we are gonna do this comparison on in HiveOS, um, which is for my rig that has all of the LHR cards. It's on HiveOS anyway, so no harm there, but I did notice that um, version 1.48 is out now, um, which implements the same new LHR unlock for Windows as well. So there you go. Uh, just a few uh, things I wanted to touch on here. So they say the um, hash rate you'll get is between 77.2 to 78.2% on GDDR6 GPUs with LHR. So that would be your 3060, 3060 Ti and your 3070 um lhr versions and 76 to 77 percent unlock on gddr6x so that would be your 3070 ti uh, 3080 and 3080 ti lhr gpus uh, it's also stating here that you need specific drivers for best result and they recommend either this one or any 510 driver um, and Keep in mind, this is for Linux. One more thing it says here is also that you, um, it, it kind of takes some time to tweak. So best is to just set overclocks that you know um, your cards will handle, and then you start the miner and just let it run, and it will automatically sort of, over time, increase your hash rate. Um, I believe that is it. So let's hop over to HiveOS. You can see here I have all of the um, LHR GPUs up and mining and they're currently running T-Rex version 0.25.9 so this is what we get before upgrading to the latest LOL miner uh, you can see I got the 3060, 3060 Ti, 3070, 3070 Ti both versions of the 3080 and the 3080 Ti so those are all uh, LHR cards and I have a 3090 on there as well because this is my Octominer and the Octominer is best at handling all the heat from the 3090. So here you can see the hash rates, power consumption and overclock settings I have for all these cards as well. And what I've got here as well is I've opened up a shell so that we can see the cards actually running. 
Um, there you go. And what I also did was actually sat down here and waited since you know LHR hash rates kind of bounce up and down a little bit as well as the power consumption. So I, I sat here for a while and I kind of wrote down the sort of average hash rate um, for each GPU as well as the average power consumption for all of them. So I have that in my spreadsheet here. You guys know I love spreadsheets. So I figured we'd do a before and after here where I'm gonna fill that in for LL Miner as well. But so yeah, these are the results uh, before upgrading to the latest LOL miner. So I reckon let's just uh, let's do the upgrade, shall we? So to do that, you just simply come in here to Hive OS, hit the little upgrade button up there, and basically then you just hit upgrade. And you can see it's actually uh, not the very latest version; it's the second latest version here that has the new LOL Miner version 1.47 with the improved ETH solver, as they call it. And what I noticed here is that the uh, very latest version actually seemed to have NVIDIA memory attempts uh, right in HiOS now, finally. So without further ado, let's just hit the upgrade button here and we'll let that upgrade. All right, so HiOS successfully updated and off just hitting reload up here. Um, we can see that it worked because it's actually displaying memory temps here for me now. So you can see the memory temp on my 3090, my 3070 Ti, uh, my 3080s and my 3080 Ti. So that's fantastic. Um, actually, I'm wondering if you can set the auto fan now based on these temperatures as well. I'll have a look at that later, I guess. But let's switch to LOL Miner. So let's make a new fight sheet and make a new one. So we're gonna do Ethereum, select our wallet, select our pool, and then select LOL Miner. Give it a name, hit create flight sheet, and then just go back to our worker here, flight sheets, and select this flight sheet, hit the little rocket, and that should be up and mining just like that. So we'll give it a few seconds and yeah, it says rig config changed. All right, LL Miner has been running for about 15 minutes now. And I also can um, say that it seems that these um, memory temps actually can be controlled by auto fan because I did put my auto fan settings here, target mem temp at 90 degrees. And even though it says here on the asterisk that that's used by AMD, Vega and Navi cards only, uh, it does seem to correlate with my fan speeds. You can see uh, since I set it to 90 degrees and my 3090 here, which is above that, uh, has a fan speed of like 100% basically. So just thought that was interesting and cool. Um, yeah, you can see all the hash rates here. They have improved actually significantly on pretty much all of the cards. Uh, I figured we'd have a look at the actual miner here as well. There you go, you can see the hash rates for each card here, as well as the power consumption for each card here. And just like I did um, with T-Rex miner before we started, I have kind of been sitting here now for 15 minutes, kind of getting averages for all of these uh, once they settle, because it did take uh, LOL miner a bit to get up to um, the sort of steady hash rates that we're seeing now. Uh, but I have it all written down here and I mean, uh, you can see right away my whole rig uh, increased by about 14 mega hash, which is definitely worthwhile. Uh, it did also, as a to like for the total rig, uh, increase by about 12 watts. Uh, and this is with all the same overclock settings. But as you can see, even though power consumption did go up a little bit, hash rate went up more than power consumption. So we actually end up being more efficient um, after this so really happy with the results you can see here um, 3060 gained almost 2 mega hash at an extra 2 watts uh, 3060 Ti gained more than 3 extra mega hash which is crazy uh, at an extra 5 watts uh, we have the 3070 which gained uh, 2.3 mega hash and at the same wattage so that's super worth it uh, 3070 Ti gained just below 2 mega hash at the same wattage there, so again, super worth it. Um, 3080 10 gig, like normal 3080 LHR, 
gained 2.4 mega hash uh, for 5 watts extra. Um, and the only um, GPU that actually lost hash rate was the 12 gig 3080, which I'm sure pretty much none of you use for mining anyway. So no biggie there. It lost about 0.6 mega hash. Um, but it also did lose one watt in power, so there you go. <laughs> and my 3080 Ti gained 3.3 uh, mega hash, so quite a significant jump there for just one extra watt. So overall, really impressed by this new LOL miner version. Uh, I would definitely recommend upgrading to it um, based off of these results. Now, if you found this video helpful, then please give one of these. And if you really liked it, you can now join the channel to help support what I do here. It really does make a difference and it means a lot to me. So thank you. But what you got to do now is you got to click on that next video on the screen because this video is over. You can also click the picture on my face to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, go click on that next video and I'll see you there. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye.